All right, in this video, I just wanted to explain how you would get the year to date return, alpha, beta, and standard deviation of a portfolio. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Yahoo Finance. You type in your ticker name. I use the SP 500 as my benchmark, and you're going to choose your ticker. So, I chose Amazon and Facebook as my two tickers to have in this theoretical portfolio and that is the data that I pulled. You're going to go under historical data. You're going to choose your time frame. So I used year to date for this. Hit done. Hit daily if you wanted to use uh, daily returns. Weekly if you want to use weekly. I chose daily. Hit apply and then download that data. So once you've downloaded that data, uh, you're going to open it up and the only columns you're going to want is or actually the only column you're going to want is the adjusted close so you're going to delete alt h d c and then hit f4 to repeat the last function that you did in excel and just delete the columns that are unnecessary and then you can just take that adjusted close column copy it and then paste it into your main uh, Excel doc, but just to save time here, I already did that for Amazon, Facebook, and uh, um, the S&P 500. So, next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the percentage change for uh, each security. So, you're going to do start in the second row. You're going to hit equals your current value divided by your last value minus 1. And then you'll take that formula all the way down, copy it all the way down using Control D. Uh, and then from there, you can just take this whole column, copy it, and paste it over for Amazon and the same thing for Facebook. So then, in order to find your year to date return, you're just going to do equals your final value divided by your initial value minus one same thing with Amazon final value divided by initial value minus one same thing for Facebook final value divided by initial value minus one then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to find the beta of each stock so you're going to use the slope function your known Y's will be whatever the security the stock is within the portfolio. So first I'm going to take the changes, the daily changes of Amazon as my known Y's and then take the daily changes of whatever benchmark you're using, which in this case is the S&P 500. So daily returns of the S&P 500. And that will give you your beta for that stock. Do the same thing for Facebook. Um, equals slope sorry equals slope your known wise again the Facebook and known X's will be the S&P's daily returns now you just got your beta here you can format that in a way that is a little bit more readable uh, next thing we're going to do is just get the standard deviation. So we're going to use the standard deviation function uh, dot P. Then just take the numbers, uh, the actual price, or a actually we're going to use the percentage changes uh, for each stock. So there's Amazon's standard deviation. And then doing the same thing for Facebook, we have... Facebook standard deviation when we copy all of those daily returns. So now we we found a standard deviation of roughly 2% for both of them. We have our betas. Uh, we can now calculate the alpha. So in order to find alpha, we are actually there's one more step we're going to need. We're going in order to calculate alpha, we're going to need our risk free rate. So if we go back to the internet and find the current treasury rate treasury rate then you can just go to your daily treasury rate yield curve uh, and typically people use the three month as as the risk-free rate so our daily uh, three month treasury yield uh, return is 2.35 percent 
So we will just do 2.035 and format that as a percentage. Uh, now we will find the alpha. So in order to find alpha, it, I put the formula over there on the top right of the screen. It will be the return of the stock, which is right here, minus the return of your risk-free rate. I guess not the return, but just your risk-free rate, uh, plus the beta of the stock times the return of the market minus your risk-free rate again and then just close out all of those parentheses and you will get the alpha um, again just do the same thing for Facebook so return of Facebook minus the risk-free rate plus your beta Facebook times and let me actually add one parenthesis here you have to be careful with parentheses make sure you have your orders of operations correct um, the return of the market minus your risk free rate again and then close out all of those parentheses and now you have the, your alpha of uh, both stocks so now uh, we can choose our portfolio weightage so I'm just going to start out with a 50% portfolio weightage for both of them and now we can calculate our year-to-date return so our year-to-date return will just be the return of Amazon times whatever weight we gave in the portfolio plus and make sure you're using parentheses here for both um, the return of Facebook times your weight for Facebook and then there you go reformat that so it's not ugly um, and you have your year-to-date return for your portfolio for your theoretical portfolio and you can just do the same thing with alpha so you uh, will take the alpha of Amazon times its portfolio weight plus the alpha of Facebook times its portfolio weight you have your alpha do the same thing for beta not forgetting the parentheses the beta of Amazon times its portfolio weight plus the beta of Facebook times its portfolio weight and then for standard deviation again same thing one last time uh, I will add that parenthesis I didn't forget about it after this so plus uh, the standard deviation of Facebook times the portfolio weight of Facebook and don't forget to add those parentheses or else it may mess up your formula and then again put that in a readable format okay so now we have calculated our standard deviation our alpha beta and year-to-date return for a portfolio and the cool thing is is since we've linked all of these uh, weights up within our formulas we can change this and this is now a dynamic model so we can use a 30 percent weight for Amazon and a 70 percent weight for Facebook and you see that you just cut your year-to-date return by a ton or you could flip it and say 70 percent weight for Facebook or for Amazon and 30 percent for Facebook and now you have a, a great return and a great alpha but that's just a quick way a uh, quick rundown of how you would calculate some basic portfolio characteristics. If you like that video, please subscribe. And if you want to tell me what you want to see next, then uh, just leave a comment below. Thank you.